Hello guys, uh, we got uh, the Remembering Update patch notes that they just released, and I'm sure a lot of things are in the trailer. Wait, the game is on sale? Not on, not on Steam though. How much is it on Epic Store? Oh my god! You can pick up another Ultimate Edition for, for $49. I can get another 14,000 Moonstones! Okay, let me know in the comments if I should do this. I, I could use some more Moonstones. And that's the best deal you can get. I mean, technically, what, what's the deluxe? Wait, deluxe edition is more expensive than the ultimate right now. Guys, if you don't have the game yet and if you want to get it on PC, it's right now in really, really good sale on on, uh, on Epic. So if you have a PC and if you want to get some extra Moonstones, you can grab ultimate for $49. That's insane. That's, all, that's very good. All right, let's go back to patch notes. Got a little bit distracted here. All right, let's read them. Let's see if there is anything uh, in here that wasn't in the trailer. Exciting. It's no secret our previous update was a huge one for the team bringing Simba and Nala to the valley. All right, King Realm Realm remembering launches June 7. Customary bug squashing. I hope they did. I hope they they fixed all the bugs that people uh, have encountered. The biggest story update yet, and a bundle of new features that will help you further shape the valley in your own image, among other things. Check out all the details below. It's our biggest story update yet. The story behind the forgetting comes full circle. Fairy Godmother, along with the friendship quest, arrives to the valley answering the long-standing question of who does the giant pumpkin belong to. It doesn't say she lives in it. It says it belongs to her. Hmm... Well, we'll see. I think she does live in, though. Celebrate all things Pixar with the brand new Wonder of Pixar Star Path, featuring exclusive items from upcoming feature film Elemental, as well as Inside Out, Finding Nemo and Finding Dory, and Turning Red. Yeah, that's amazing. Even more new optional items are on its way to the premium shop for a limited time, including Dark Castle, House Skin, Vacation-inspired dream styles for multiple characters, Animal companion skins and much more. Yeah, so the vacation skins are gonna be premium shop. I don't know how to feel about that. I, I was so used to uh, character skins being a part of the Star Path, and now they're gonna add some of them as as a as a paid feature. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. But that Wally skin is so cute. But all all depends on the price. If they price it right, maybe I'll buy it. Browse with confidence. Preview in-game models of items in the premium shop before purchasing them. Wait, that doesn't mean that doesn't mean we're gonna see if we own it. It just means that we're gonna be able to see it in 3D. That's what they're saying. That's good though. At least you you'll be able to see it from all the sides. Premium shop refresh time has been adjusted to Wednesday from Friday. So we're getting a, a shop refresh tomorrow as soon as the update drops. So if you wanted to get anything in the shop right now, you better do it right now. New shipment alert! Scrooge McDuck store has received a batch of new items to collect, including a range of pumpkin-themed goods! All right! I'm looking forward to that. I need more items from Scrooge. To help track which items from Scrooge McDuck store you've added to your collection, a red dot will be displayed on store items that are not yet owned. My god, best update ever. That is such a good feature. That is such a good feature. We need this. We've been asking for it for so long. Thank you. Make your mark on the valley with expanded touch of magic feature, allowing the customization of furniture using your hard-earned motifs. Once again, they don't expand on which exact furniture. The trailer only shows beds, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping, but... Probably not this update. I think this update we're only getting beds. Unless they wanted to keep it a surprise. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow. Bring a little more style to rainy days in the valley with a new umbrella hand accessories. So I'm assuming it's just going to be... It, it says hand accessories. So... Potentially we could have umbrellas. We could have cane. But I wonder what happens to umbrella if it's not raining. Do you still carry it in your hand? And I'm assuming there's going to be some free skins and there's going to be some premium skins for your umbrellas. Honestly, I, I don't think I'm going to be buying any premium skins for my umbrella. I like It's a cool feature, but in the end of the day, th does it really matter? I mean, it does if it's gorgeous. But from all the skins I've seen, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It, it all depends on the prices. 
You can now place multiple different player houses throughout the valley. Please note only one instance of any given house style can be placed. Okay, that makes sense. I We're getting two more houses. So how many houses we have right now? The d default one has like three different colors. I'm assuming every one of those can be... Maybe not. Maybe only one of them can be placed. That would make sense. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight houses. Or seven. Seven or eight houses we can place all around the valley. Pretty much an, you can have a house in every single biome if you wanted to. That's amazing. Step up your wardrobe. Use the new mannequin feature to save, display, and instantly change into your favorite outfits at the press of a button. Love it. Looking forward to that as well, to save all my beautiful suits. And you can actually not just use it to change your outfits, but you can just also use it as decoration. That's awesome. Roads in the valley have received a glow up, allowing you to add borders to them. Whoa! No way! No way! I'm sorry. That was that was a little bit of an overreaction, but my god! Is this, is this bad that out of all the things I just read, I'm the most excited about the borders to the roads? Is, is, is it wrong? <laughs> this is such a good feature though, my god! And it looks like it's optional, so you can have borders on and you can have them off. Oh, I, I'm gonna love this update so much. <laughs> Customize the look of your tools with premium tool skins. So I guess we're not going to be getting any free tool skins. Let's see how expensive they are. I hope not very expensive. We've added a new feed to the start menu to keep, keep you in the loop about all the latest Disney Dreamlight Valley updates. Thank God. But that's going to be only official updates though. So like stuff like potato quests are still going to be going to remain a mystery. Added the toggle to the options menu on high performance hardware to allow players to increase the value. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> Double the item limit, baby! Double the item limit! The decorating is back! That's it. This is the best update of all times. I, I'm telling this now. No other update in the future will come close to this. Unless they double the, the object limit again. It's not it's not as much. It, I'm still going to hit that limit pretty fast, I'm sure. But it's double. Double. And unfortunately... Okay, there is a slight little... Slight little drawback. You will not be able to do it on Switch. Or PlayStation 4. Or Xbox One. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I got excited initially, but then I realized it's not for everybody. It's just for certain platforms. Well, one more, one one more reason to buy a, a 30% off Ultimate Edition on Epic Store right now. By the way, if you do, I have an Epic referral code try putting star in sky 13 if you're gonna buy an epic code i'm not sure if it's still active but it might be added steam and epic game store achievements all right root vegetables again what does it mean uh. okay okay more potato mysteries i love it bug fixes fashion lily's bug okay uh cooking dream fist thank god uh, quest giver icons to display improperly in their frames. Scrooge McDuck store would appear empty. S -s -s Small window. Memory shards and star coins from spawning. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're getting more memory shards from uh, watering flowers and removing small night thorns? I knew it was a bug. Does it mean we're gonna get him every single time we water a flower? That would be sick. Fixed an issue which prevented players from buying and selling items from Goofy Stall. Stitch's hobby, stacking your territory, collect them all, to story to finally. Alien toys would occasionally appear in unreachable locations. Congratulations, guys, you'll finally be able to, to finish the quest. 
by bunch of quest fixes you can read it right now i'm not gonna go through every single one of them there's a bunch of different quest uh fixes oysters stop spawning and dazzle beach biome i actually noticed that i haven't seen any oysters in a while installation errors item appears visible through walls fountain tiles are fixed baby yes best update ever I'm hyped. I'm absolutely hyped. This is mind-blowingly good. See you tomorrow in the update. It's gonna be epic. Thank you so much to all of our supporters, guys. I'm so ready for this update. And I can see so many potential for the content. And I'm not gonna sleep for the next week. But who cares? Item limit increased. And we're getting new Scrooge items. And we're getting... What else are we getting? I was excited about something. Uh, I already forgot. Uh, the Touch of Magic! <laughs> Too many things. <gasps> borders! I'm gonna put borders on every single path in my plaza. It's gonna look gorgeous. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you, Natalie Clark, for being our demigod. Thank you, all our legends, all our heroes and villagers, and everybody who supports the channel that you see right now on the screen. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.